Dr. Emma Russell awakens, reminiscing about the SF Godzilla Rampage incident. In the kitchen, her daughter Maddie chats with her estranged father, Mark Russell. Together with Maddie, Emma heads to a lab in central China, housed in a monarch facility containing a giant moth larva. The larva stirs, but Emma calms it using her ORCA device, a packing case-sized electronic apparatus that emits specific frequencies. Suddenly, explosions and gunfire erupt as a squad of soldiers storms in, seizing Maddie, Emma, and the device. At a U.S. government committee, Dr. Sarazawa, Dr. Graham, and Sam Coleman face questioning about Monarch's activities. Sarazawa emphasizes the importance of research for coexisting with Titans. He abruptly leaves upon receiving a call, and the Monarch trio departs. Mark Russell records wolf sounds in the woods when the Monarch leadership trio arrives via V-22 Osprey. They show him footage of Maddie and Emma being abducted, and he agrees to join them. Post-SF, Emma focused on research, while Mark distanced himself. Having lost a son, they separated, leaving Maddie with her mother. Mark, unaware of Emma's Titan-related work, invented the ORCA device to communicate with killer whales. On the Bravo Ocean platform near Bermuda, Monarch tracks Godzilla's movements worldwide. Godzilla approaches, but Mark advises against aggression. Godzilla passes by, seemingly acknowledging the humans, and then departs. Mark reviews Godzilla's history, revealing repeated visits to the Monarch Antarctica base. Colonel Jonah Allen and his team assault the Antarctica base, planting explosives near the entombed monster Zero. A Monarch team arrives, leading to a firefight. Mark approaches, urging Maddie to join him. Emma triggers explosives, causing the facility to collapse. Colonel Allen, Emma, and Maddie escape in AV-22. Mark saves soldiers but is delayed in reaching their aircraft. Monster Zero, a colossal three-headed dragon, emerges. It notices the V-22 and approaches, ready to unleash flames. Emma, from a hovering osprey, calms it with her ORCA device. Godzilla appears, battling the three-headed monster. Monster Zero prevails, pushing Godzilla into a crevice, killing Graham, and flying off. The Monarch team regroups, and Mark insists on finding Godzilla. There are 17 Monarch sites situated at dormant Titan locations. The one in Mexico exhibits signs of activity, prompting the flying wing to head in that direction. From a volcano emerges Rotten, a giant black bird with flaming tail feathers. Mark urges Monarch to evacuate the 11,000 people living near the mountain. Monarch also observes a large hurricane heading to Mexico, created by Monster Zero, which somehow has the ability to control the weather. B-22 Ospreys are dispatched to rescue people and engage Rodden. The Flying Wing attempts to lure Rodden towards Titan Zero, but Rodden systematically knocks down the V-22S. Rodden and Monster Zero engage in battle, resulting in Monster Zero's victory as it blasts Rodden into the ocean. Monster Zero nearly destroys the Argo, but Godzilla intervenes, tackling Monster Zero out of the air and engaging in an oceanic battle. Admiral Stins orders the Monarch Flying Wing to retreat, as the military launches an oxygen-depleting cruise missile at Monster Zero and Godzilla. A distress call comes from a last Osprey carrying children. Mark clears space in the landing bay, ejecting a parked Osprey to make room for the endangered craft, which manages a challenging but safe landing inside the Flying Wing. Godzilla gains the upper hand by biting off one of Monster Zero's heads, but the bomb hits both Titans causing a massive explosion. The area falls silent for a moment until Monster Zero emerges from the sea, missing a head, and flies to the top of the volcano, emitting a triumphant screech. The decapitated head regenerates, and Rodden bows to Monster Zero. The Monarch team loses Godzilla's signal and assumes it is perished. Jonah suggests releasing the Titans gradually, one at a time, but Emma denies responsibility. Jonah defiantly declares, long live the king, and Madison accuses Emma of being a monster. Back on Bravo, Monarch identifies Monster Zero as King Ghidorah, the rival apex predator to Godzilla. Dormant Titans worldwide begin awakening and wreak havoc. Rodden and King Ghidorah join forces to destroy Washington, D.C. Monarch scientist Eileen Shin explains that Ghidorah is an extraterrestrial with superior powers compared to other Titans. Emma makes a video call to Monarch to justify her actions, claiming that humans are overpopulating and destroying the Earth. Releasing the Titans, she believes, will restore balance and save the planet. 
Mark and Monarch consider her actions extreme and beyond her authority. Emma advises them to find bunkers for shelter until it's safe. Monarch decides to search for Godzilla. In China, the larva transforms into a large moth, and the older Dr. Chin marvels at the beauty of the friendly giant. Sarazawa and Russell embark on a submarine expedition, discovering a submerged city older than Egyptian ruins. Radiation prevents them from approaching, but a probe captures a photo of a sleeping Godzilla in a dry chamber. Sarazawa volunteers to take a nuclear bomb to Godzilla to provide him with a healthy dose of energy. He takes a one-man craft to the chamber, climbs beside Godzilla, pats its nose, and bids farewell in Japanese before the bomb explodes. The submarine emerges, scanning the surface for signs. A massive whirlpool forms, and Godzilla emerges. The Titan approaches the sub, scrutinizes it, then moves on without incident. Back at Bravo, Mark expresses his desire to find Maddie and prepares to depart. A radiant light pierces through the rain, revealing Mothra in its majestic form. Maddie, realizing her mother's irrationality, attempts to intervene. Emma devises a plan to use Boston's Fenway Park to transmit an ORCA signal, halting the Titans. Despite Colonel Allen's objections, who insists on seeing the plan through despite Ghidorah's unexpected powers, Maddie escapes the Monarch Bunker, an aged fallout shelter, with the ORCA device. Reaching Fenway Park, she connects the equipment to the PA system and initiates the broadcast. Titans globally cease their rampage, and Ghidorah heads towards Boston to locate the signal. Arriving in a hurricane, Ghidorah blasts the PA speakers and spots Maddie through the stadium windows. Maddie seizes the ORCA and attempts to flee. On the baseball field, she loses the case, and Ghidorah is about to attack when a blue blast knocks the three-headed monster down. Maddie witnesses an enraged Godzilla making landfall with a squadron of V-22S and the flying wing providing support. Godzilla and Ghidorah resume their battle in Boston, while Mothra and Rodden clash in the air. Ghidorah gains the upper hand, dropping Godzilla from the atmosphere and leaving him exhausted in the rubble. Mothra defeats Rodden by impaling him with a stinger but is gravely injured and nearly killed. Mothra attempts to shield Godzilla from Ghidorah, but Ghidorah kills Mothra. The particles from Mothra gently descend onto Godzilla. The Monarch team searches for Maddie, finding the ORCA but not the girl. Meanwhile, Emma has a change of heart and arrives at Fenway Park, saving the Monarch team. They escape in a Hummer, pursued by Ghidorah. Trying to buy time for Godzilla, who is having his energy drained by Ghidorah, the team realizes Maddie went to their old family home. They find her amid the ruins, and Maddie recovers. They plan to use the RCA device again. A V-22 arrives to evacuate the team, everyone but Emma boards. She stays on the ground, apologizes, activates the RCA, and drives away in a truck. Ghidorah blasts the truck as she leaves, injuring her. Mark and Maddie witness the event with sorrow. Godzilla regains strength, now emitting a red glow, engaging Ghidorah once more and finally defeating it. Rodden and other titans in Boston kneel before Godzilla. Standing triumphant, Godzilla is hailed as the king of monsters. I know.